All right, so we're going to show you how to put a coil on one of these things. And the first thing that I'm going to do is make a coil at about the same rate of speed that I normally make them at. So, and I'll give you an explanation of what I'm doing after I'm done, but just watch what I'm doing first so that you can see what happens here. And that's about how long it takes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and even up my coils a little bit. I'm also making sure that they slide easily along the wick. And don't worry, I'm going to show you about putting the wick in shortly. But first, I just wanted to see you make it so that you can see how the coil is made and about how long it, it actually takes to do it. So, that's really the process there. And this is a close-up of what the coil looks like once it's uh, installed. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to slow things down and give you some close-ups of how we uh, got through that. I'm going to take quite a bit more time on this pass so that you can really see what happens. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to loosen up these screws about a, about a turn or so. Nothing, uh, nothing critical here. And I'm going to take my wire and slide it under the screw. And give myself a little, couple of little pigtails here. This is always clumsier when you slow down, by the way. And see how I can pull that straight out like that and down and over. So when they're down like that, we're going to take the correct wrench. We're going to take it and tighten it down. Now, you don't have to be an animal with that. Uh, and if we just take the wire here like that, it will snap right off. Now, if you take a close look here, I'm going to come around the outside, not the inside, but the actual outside of the wick. And I'm not pulling hard on the wire. I'm just guiding it around. until I've got my four wraps and you'll see that the wire naturally wants to come out this way and around this side of the screw this will drive electricians crazy because you never put a wire normally counter the direction of the screw but in this case it really does work best and now I'm just going to tighten that down till it's snug and I'm going to bring my scissors in here and cut that wire off if we take a look, you can see that the coils are not real even. We're going to neaten them up just a little bit because I think it's good to have pride in your work. And I'm going to point out a couple of issues here that you need to pay attention to. Number one, pay close attention to the distance between the mesh and there. These two cannot be touching. Number two, Pay close attention down here at the bottom between the mesh and the tank section. Those two cannot be touching, nor should this be bent in and touching there. They need to be completely clear of each other because those are shorts that, that are, that are going to cre create a problem for you getting a good coil at that point. But that's what is involved in making the coil. It's simple, it's straightforward, just take your time don't tug on the wire and, and it'll guide right around nice and easy. I generally cut this fairly close but a lot of people are finding that they like a little extra distance at the top on the high VG juices which I don't use so that's something that was learned in the field but I generally just like to cut it right there at the top. I usually put a pinch in it to keep it from over wicking and having juice sucked up through like a straw but that is optional 
So that's the basis of making the coil on the mesh. So once we know what a good dry burn looks like, which is a nice evenly glowing coil, we can go ahead and put some PG on there just to let it gunk up a little bit. We're letting it go until it actually glows. We're burning it right off. And now I'm soaking it down. Letting it burn off. And soaking it down. And three or four of these should do the trick. It's not a critical step. And again, we go to the point where it just burns right up. Now let me add something to, to the equation here. Until this wick is wicking really well, I think it's a very good idea to no, have no more than three quarters of a tank of juice. It seems to wick better when there's some air space in there. We're going to give it a little juice, soak it up. And at this point, we're really looking for are the, are the end leads out glowing or are they going evenly? And the answer is they're going evenly. This is just 100% PG. Okay, so a number of people have said they cannot fit the, uh, the wicks uh, that are supplied with their PV in the tiny little hole which is there. And uh, I believe that because they don't know how to do it yet. These come soaked so that they will wick uh, in advance. Now I'm going to go ahead and start rotating that between my fingers and compress that and it will tighten right up. And once you've done that, that wick will slide right into there and fit just perfectly. So now that we've got the mesh in place, we're going to go right ahead and make another coil. Pull that around like so. Tighten it down. Just want to mention as a safety precaution, you should always do this with the battery out of your PV. So it's not firing when you push down on it or do something like that. I broke my own rule and did that with the battery in it. And we're going to fire it up, and you'll notice we've got the, core, the, the, the leads glowing as we give it a fire. Although it's fairly even through the middle, we can tighten it up a little bit just by making some adjustments there. And voila, we are pretty close. Just give it a little quickies once it's glowing evenly. And once you've got that all glowing nice and uh, you've burned off the wick a few times, go ahead and put a couple of drops of your own juice on there. Have the tank on, put on the top o-ring, fill the tank about three quarters of the way and, uh, and give it a vape. It'll take a little bit for it to break in, but it'll go pretty quickly. So that was putting the mesh into uh, the impossibly small hole. It will compress down. You just have to work it through, and, through your fingers until it goes down to that size and slide it on in and you should be good to go.